Despite the current low price cycle, the critical role our minerals play in the energy transition, helping to form a foundation for a cleaner, greener, remains indisputable. Our market development efforts help ensure that our products have a sustainable and positive impact on the world. We're leveraging capabilities through these activities and capturing value from the adjacent value chains while diversifying sources of future PGM demand. Some key progress that was made in the first half include in the jewelry sector, PGI USA launched Innovio Platinum, a proprietary platinum jewelry alloy developed by us and alloyed using AI and digital technology. Potential demand is over 300,000 ounces of platinum per year, and this due to being extremely well received in the US, we're now planning on a global expansion starting in India. In fuel cell electric vehicles, we've continued to build on the success of H2 Moves Berlin to launch H2 Moves Europe. This includes two new fleets in Paris and in Brussels, in partnership with Hype, who are the official taxi provider to the 2024 Paris Olympic Games, soon to be launched in Hamburg as well. Fuel cell electric vehicles offer a substantial opportunity of 6 million ounces of platinum per year if one in 10 cars is a fuel cell electric vehicle. In batteries, extensive testing has been conducted at the Battery Innovation Center in Indiana on Lion Batteries technology. Early results show a 20% increase in energy density and a 40% reduction in the cost of lithium sulfur batteries. The next step is to explore product development and further commercialization pathways. The potential annual demand from Lion Batteries is significant for palladium and platinum if this technology is adopted at scale. We have liquidity headroom of 37 billion rand. In line with our capital allocation framework, the board has approved an interim dividend of 2.6 billion rand or 9 rand 75 per share. This equates to a 40% payout of H1 headline earnings. Dividends declared to employees as part of the employee share ownership scheme, TOBO, as well as our communities, amounted to approximately 70 million rand. Moving on to our contribution to society, we continue to play a significant role within the countries in which we operate. In H1, we contribute to 35 billion rand to our broader society and stakeholders, of which 8 billion rand was paid to employees in salaries and wages, and 13 billion rand on local procurement.